Hey, my name is Willie Minix. Welcome back to Guitar Meditations. And today I'm thinking about there's a part in the Bible that says, Don't be anxious for anything. Why? Because if you exercise faith, faith is the opposite of being anxious. You don't have to be anxious if you know that God's looking out for you and He cares for you and He's taking care of you. So that's kind of the thing I want you to think about today. Just think about how God cares about you. And I want to teach you a new technique. So last time we talked about this three finger thing where you're picking, I mean not three finger, three uh, no, a triplet. And you can pick with just your thumb, or you can pick with your first finger. Doesn't really matter how you do it. Just make sure that rhythm is steady. I like to go thumb, thumb, finger, thumb, thumb, finger, thumb, thumb, finger. You can do it however you want. And then we talked about how you can play notes on the second fret and the fourth fret on that first string but I'll add that today now what I did is I added the second string down and be this one right here and I added the second fret on that string that note right there so now we got a new note that we can add, and as we just sort of play and listen to the music, you can just kind of create whatever you want. I mean, you have a lot of options. Yeah. If you mess up, who cares? Just go on. Cause there's really not you're not doing this to play a song you're just doing this to kind of relax so you don't have to be you beat yourself up about it you just keep playing and just go on and if you want to you can add that note that second fret and that's kind of a minory sound it's almost like tension you know and you can think okay there's the tension in my life Take a breath because it just resolved. So now we've talked about this is kind of a one finger approach. You can do this whole thing with just one finger if you want, but sometimes I like to go and use my pinky. And if you're not really, if your pinky's not very strong, maybe you could use your ring finger. But it helps you to speed up a little bit so you can play the notes just a little bit faster when you go back and forth. And really, I'm not going that fast. It seems like it because you hear the sound element, but really, if I were to do it here, it's really not much more than just tapping your fingers, just drumming your fingers. You can do that too and get yourself kind of a neat little beat going on. still play fast with just one finger if you get really good at it and that makes me want to introduce last time I talked a little bit about the idea of a hammer-on where you hammer on to a note or like that you slam down on it you can add that but you can also do something called a pull-off where you play the note and then you drag your finger off the note hopefully you can see this to where it makes a sound and by adding these pull-offs and hammer-ons along with this three-finger thing that you're doing down here 
which hopefully by now you've been practicing this a while and you're pretty good at it. And if you ever want to pick a string that you're not ready to strum, you know, in the three finger thing, don't worry about it. Just go ahead and pick it. You don't have to stay in the pattern. It's not, it's not like mandatory. You just change and you play what needs to be played at that time, but you're not really thinking about it much. You're just... And if you want to stop doing the three finger, uh, three picking uh, pattern down here, then go ahead and go out of it for a little bit. But when you're not, when you're not sure what you should play next, then just go back to it. And you can change the speed if you want to. You don't have to always keep doing it at the same. We're not concerned about rhythm. We're not playing a song. We're just relaxing. And don't forget to breathe. Just let all that anxiety out. That's it, just two, just one finger. And three places on your guitar. Second frets uh, on the top, second to the highest string. Uh, second fret on the highest string. And fourth fret on the highest string. Just three places in addition to the, your open tunings. And that gives you one, two, three, four, five relaxing notes that you can play over and over. And you may make mistakes don't have to worry about it, you just keep going. Because you're not playing a song. So you have a good day, and I will see you in the next video.